but sometimes, sometimes I really think it has not to be like that. I'm Stefan Bauer, thank you very much. than Stefan Blavatsky. <laughs> you know, I'm Polish, so I have like really strong English Transylvania accent. No. Uh, there's no point in uh, making it even worse than it is already. And so <laughs> I think to that. So, I would like to ask you, do you guys have credit cards? Yeah! yeah. Okay. Uh, I also have credit card, but uh, it was some kind of fucking miracle that they gave me one, because <laughs> I earn basically no money. Um, I'm Tomek Biskop, uh, and I see one reason why they could have given me that card. Uh, who knows what my surname Biskop means in Polish? Or who wants to guess? Doesn't matter. <laughs> rich. No, 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 it's, it's not rich. The other answer, what was the other answer? Lucky. What? Lucky. 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 No. Bishop, yeah, it's Bishop. Yeah, it's Bishop. So, I think that guy that gave me my credit card had to be like really fucking religious. Like, oh, Bishop wants our card. So, I do have credit card and I can spend money I do not have. That's why I am uh, in Berlin. Yeah. Great opportunity, but also they gave me opportunity to segregate all my spendings, my card, into categories. So, every time I will, I will go uh, and eat something and pay my card, I, find, I will find it in some category. So, once I've ate uh, shitty Polish beakers, you know, because cabbage with sausage. Uh, I paid my card, then I go home, and I see it in category travel and adventure. <laughs> I have suddenly felt as adventurous traveler. I felt as if I went to Afghanistan and and I don't know. Come on, because I'm only afraid that if someday I will go to pharmacy, buy myself painkiller and pay by card, I will find it in category drugs and hookers. <laughs> and so I live in Krakow and uh, we've got many tourists coming there every year, every day, all the time, and some of those tourists uh, come there only to drink. Th those tourists come from many different countries. England. <laughs> United Kingdom. <laughs> Great Britain, <laughs> British Commonwealth, <laughs> Northern Ireland. And let's take some imaginary guy, let's call him Gary. He just came back to England from his trip to Krakow and he meets his friend Emily in the streets of London and she's like, Oh Gary, how are you? How was your trip to Poland? To Krakow, I mean. How was your trip to Krakow? Oh, it was great. I don't remember damn thing. We have went to peace on Mariansky Church, I've heard. Nobody remembers that, but Polish police was nice enough to send us some pictures. <laughs> then I have been trying to drink with a dragon. Then I have been trying to fight with a dragon. Oh, that is wonderful. What do you want to go for your vacation next year? Oh, I'm going to Berlin. I've heard it's a great city to forget. <laughs> Uh, so, there are also other types of tourists that are like polite, nice, but a little dumb. Because, you know, we've got basically two historical centers in Krakow, Market Square and Kazimierz district. And once I have been walking from one to another, and uh, like elderly English couple stopped me and they were like, Excuse me, do you know way to the old town? and they were fucking standing in front of a church from 16th century. <laughs> so I was like... Not old enough for you? Where do you guys come from? Ancient Egypt? If it doesn't have hieroglyphs? It doesn't count as old? So I have sent them to archaeological excavations in South Africa. <laughs> I hope 
hope Dutch Town was old enough for them, right? Uh, so also, maybe you know, but maybe you, you, you don't. Pope John Paul II. Uh, in Poland there's still only one Pope, John Paul II, right? <laughs> we haven't accepted facts that they have changed men in that position like two times <laughs> already. Uh, Pope John Paul II has been living and studying in Krakow and like, and, and he has a window in Krakow. Not a house, a window. <laughs> I think buying it, buying it was really hard. It's a window in which Paul John Paul II stood once, like 15 years ago. And I think you need fucking lots of imagination to enjoy that spot. And he had been studying in that city. So in every district somewhere you will find boards stating John Paul II was here. John Paul II was there. I have started to think that when he was studying in Krakow, he had been working as a pizza delivery guy. <laughs> So, you will also find some board stating John Paul II stepped here, John Paul II stepped there. I have started to think that maybe he was pizza delivery guy with an narcolepsy. <laughs> Big <laughs> Have you ever heard about Polish freedom fighter Joseph Piłsudski? When he... Okay, and the thing is, when he was fighting for Polish, for Polish freedom, he had been traveling to all the Poland in and in every small town you'll find board stating Joseph Piłsudski slept here, Joseph Piłsudski slept there. I have started to think <laughs> that at this and what occasion John Paul II and Joseph Piłsudski slept together. <laughs> So, this set was recorded at Cosmic Comedy Open Mic in Berlin. Uh, I'm sure you have noticed the guy at the beginning. That's the Amanda Singh, uh, his host of um, Cosmic Comedy. If you ever will be in Berlin, definitely go see his show. He's a really good comedian, okay? And if you ever will be in Krakow, definitely come to see my show. I do stand-up comedy in here in English as well as in Polish, so if you understand one of those two languages, I'm sure you'll have a laugh. Und jetzt vielen Dank und auf Wiedersehen.